One day, an officer of the Roman army came to Jesus and asked him for help. My servant is sick and will probably die soon. Jesus offered to come to his house and see the servant, but the officer declined. I am not worthy for you to enter my house. He knew that Jews were not allowed to be in the house of a person with another faith. He continued, I know that you have the power to heal my servant without even touching him. Jesus was impressed by the great faith of the officer. In all of Israel, I have not found a man with a faith this huge. Go, your servant is healed. In that moment, the officer's servant was completely healed. One day, Jesus went to a funeral. The person that died was a widow's only son. She was old and did not have anyone else but him. Jesus saw the woman and had compassion on her. He went up to the coffin, touched the man inside, and told him to get up. At that very moment, the man stood up and got out of the coffin. Everyone who saw this was shocked. The widow was happy to have her son back and told everyone about the miracle that Jesus had done. One day, some people came to Jesus who followed John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a man who lived in the desert and challenged people to change their lives and follow God fully. As a sign of that change, he would submerge them in the Jordan River. This ritual was called baptism. John had announced before, that somebody would come after him, someone who would be far more important than him and would lead people to eternal life. Therefore, the men who came from John asked Jesus, are you the one John was talking about, or do we have to wait for somebody else? Shortly before this, John was put in prison and was not sure himself anymore if Jesus was really the one he had foretold to come. Jesus replied, just tell John what you see, and he will know. Tell him that blind people are seeing, that lame people are walking, that deaf people are hearing, that the dead come back to life, and that the poor are hearing God's words and are encouraged. This is what the men told John when they returned. One day Jesus was invited by a well-known Jewish leader called Simon. When they were eating a woman entered the room. She went up to Jesus, knelt before him and started to cry. She had expensive oil with her and washed the feet of Jesus using her tears and that oil. One of Jesus' disciples complained, why do you allow this? We could have sold this oil to give the money to the poor. You will always have poor people that you can care for, Jesus answered. I will be with you only for a short time. Therefore it is a good thing she is doing. She is preparing my body for my death. Jesus knew the woman and also knew that she was not living a good life. A lot of people saw her as a criminal. Why don't you send this woman away? How can you allow her to even touch you, the Simon murmured. Jesus replied, look at this lady. You have not even offered me water to wash my feet myself. She instead is washing my feet with tears and oil. You did not give me a hug as I entered. She is continuously kissing my feet. One thing is sure, if God forgave you a lot, you will love a lot. If you haven't been forgiven much, you will love a little. Then he turned to the woman telling her, your many mistakes and sins are forgiven. You are saved because you have trusted in me.